Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Timix Kinglo. Thank you for stopping by this channel. If this is your first time of seeing my face, you are welcome to Timix Kinglo. Timix Kinglo channel is all about skincare, product review, product formulation, um, simple DIYs to help you achieve a beautiful, healthy, glowing skin. So thank you for stopping by. Please listen, subscribe. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you for building this big family. I truly appreciate it. All right, today's so video is all about dark knuckles, and I will be telling you why you get burnt from using dark knuckles treatment, like the regular pigment does, Floris do, Grace do, um, RWT, and those knuckle treatments you know in the market. I'm going to tell you why you get burnt from using it, what to do to prevent such burnt and reoccurrence of dark knuckles. So at the end of this video, I'll be sharing with you a simple pro mixing recipe you can do at home to get rid of your dark knuckle. This is a kind of recipe that fades off your knuckles and moisturizes it as well. It doesn't peel off. This kind of recipe does not peel off your knuckles. It only fades it off for you. So please watch this video till the end. Dark knuckle is caused by a number of factors. So skin problem can give you dark knuckles. Skin tanning can give you dark knuckles genetic factors okay it could be genetic factor or external factors as well so first thing you should do before you embark on dark knuckle treatment is to get a sunscreen a sunscreen a good sunscreen sunblock because if you get rid of your dark knuckle and you go about with that protecting it with sunscreen or sunblock it will get dark again so the same way you get um sun burn on your face by going around without using sunscreen after you use your lightning product that's how your knuckle will get dark again after using your dark knuckle treatment when you use dark knuckle treatment especially the ones that peels off you know the knuckles area become very sensitive so you really have to moisturize very well and use your sun screen sun block okay it's really really important you do that so i'm um, you know why basically why you get burnt from using knuckle treatment why that sometimes you use it and instead of it to treat the knuckle you get severe burn it's because you abuse it or you're not using it rightly so when you use knuckle treatment such as those um pigment those flourish dough grace dough and rwt and all the knuckle treatment serum you know in the market you have to do it this way when when you apply the knuckle treatment on the dark area remember you don't have to rub your hand like you're rubbing your cream you apply it only on the dark area using um a dropper you can use a serum dropper or a cotton ball cotton wool to just apply on only the dark area first that's what you should do focus on only the dark area apply it there and then at night before you go to bed what you should do you can get a good hand cream a moisturizer or coconut oil or any good oil to rub your hand make sure that hand is well moisturized if you do not moisturize your hand it will cause dryness and it can make it get darker and burnt okay so one major reason your dark knuckles keep coming back is because you fail to moisturize your hand make moisturizing a priority get a good plain moisturizer not a lightning product a plain moisturizer get it or get a good hand cream if you don't have any of that you can use your oil coconut oil is fine orange oil lemon i prefer coconut oil actually do that at night always make sure your hands are well moisturized it will help the knuckles that are speed up to heal and then you can now embark on any skin lightening product of your choice but make sure it's safe skin lightening product okay so that is it when you start using your um knuckle treatment serum you can use it for a week or two and then follow up with the scrub always um, use a scrub and exfoliating gloves is going to really help for speedy peel off if that's what you're using and then use a good hand cream that's how to prevent your knuckles from getting burnt you have to exfoliate even though you are using a um, knuckle treatment serum that contains a hand just exfoliating agent you still need a body scrub get a good scrub and uh, an exfoliating glove if possible so make sure you're always scrubbing and exfoliating the knuckles very well so it can peel off whatever is there and then use your hand cream so as soon as that is achieved you can start um, using sunscreen when you go out okay um, there are so many nice sunscreen in the market that doesn't leave 
white cast on your skin but if per eventual you get the ones that leave white cast on your skin this is what you should do mix it with oil so if you have a sunscreen that you know it leaves white cast on your skin just put a little on your palm and then pour some coconut oil or sunflower oil little mix it and then mix very well and then rub all over your hands or your body whatever it's not going to leave you're not going to see any form of white cast on your skin so that is it and make sure you get original if you are not using the original um, knuckle treatment serum you get burnt because you don't know what is mixed there you don't know what is in that bottle so make sure you get original so i hope you get my point get a good knuckle treatment serum get an exfoliating glove get a good scrub to go with it as well get a hand cream and get a sunscreen that's the complete set that's a complete kit that's a complete item you need to treat your dark knot so here is the recipe this is what you need it's a pro mixing recipe and like i said this is the type that fades off your dark knuckle so i'm going to give these recipes in two categories one for beginners and the other one for our skincare formulators you know people who are into skincare they need effective recipes for their customers to treat dark knuckles for beginners this is what you need you need one glutathione injection serum the black one i'll put the picture on the screen for you you need shalom knuckles oil you need um zero spot serum you need anti-touch serum you need vampire serum one and then you need white pigment oil you need just one i'm going to put the picture on the screen as well so these six items are what you need get a clean bowl pour everything in there mix very well and then that's what you should use for your dark knuckles remember i said apply on only where you have dark knuckles don't rub it all over like you're rubbing in hand cream okay so apply it on only the dark knuckle area your dark knuckles dark elbow your um, knee if you have dark knees your toe those are the areas you should use this treatment for don't use it on your face don't use it on your body only dark area like your elbow your knee your knuckles your tools okay so that is it just those five those six items are what you need you need one one each one each okay for our skincare um formulators now this is what you do your recipes will come in percentage all right mm, you need the um you need the glutathione injection serum you need 12 percent your usage rate is 12 percent white pigment oil 12 percent okay vampire serum you need 12 percent shalom knuckles you need 12 percent as well and then and then zero spot serum you need 12 percent as well and then your anti-touch 12 percent okay those six items you need 12 percent each now you also need other ingredients like your um vegetable glycerin you need that one at five percent not whitening glycerin vegetable glycerin five percent plain distilled water you need 17 percent because we'll be needing citric acid as well three percent citric acid and then xanthan gum you need just one percent epidem epidem you need just one percent and your preservative one percent so this is what you should do so you get your citric acid, put it in your distilled water, stir very well till it dissolves. You don't need heat. You don't need double boiler method. I believe you know what you are doing. That's why I'm giving you this recipe and I'm giving you percentage. Okay. The next thing you should do, dissolve your xanthan gum and vegetable glycerin. That's why we need the glycerin there. You don't need the heat as well. Just stir till it dissolves very well. Then pour it into the citric acid solution and then add all of that ingredient to your Glutathione injection, your vampire serum, shalom knuckles, and zero spot anti touch, and then um, white pigment oil. You add everything, stay very well, okay? And then check your pH. pH 5 is what I recommend for this. Your preservative should be the last. Use this and come back. So thank you. It's going to work, it doesn't peel off. No matter how stubborn that area is, no matter how dark that knuckle is, even if you've got burnt from using knuckle treatment, this will work for you. This recipe I just gave us is something that will fade your knuckle and moisturize it for you. It takes your very stubborn area, very stubborn knuckle. You see those kind of burnt knuckles, burnt feet, burnt elbows, knees. You see those kind of pictures you see on Google. Okay, as a result of bleach products, those uh, kind of areas that look like damaged area. This is the kind of treatment that works for that.
I've done it for customers that customized it for product or customers and this really works. This is a serum that you will use and come back to thank me. So hope you find this video interesting. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video.